Hey guys, it's Ashfoot. And uh I'm here in mask. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the new Batman movie. I'm gonna try not to give it away. I might even do another video like a spoiler alert spoilers ahead. But um I just wanted to get out my frustrations over how many people want to see this movie? I mean, I knew that it was going to be a lot. But to me, the first one wasn't that good. And after seeing the second one, because I liked the commercials a lot, the previews, I really had to see this one. So I got to see it four days before it came out. It was really good. Maybe I had a mindset of, well, it has to be good because you know, Heath Ledger, he's in it, and he passed away, so this is the last film he has to do, or had, who, uh, that had been done, and, uh, the first time he came on screen, I was just like, wow, he's, he's really gone, I remember one of the first movies I had by him was A Night's Tale, and, that is a really good movie. I loved it. But, uh, the, when he plays the Joker, it's, he almost seemed to me like a Johnny Depp. Like, he t completely changed. And I could not see Heath Ledger in this Joker. Like, he was someone totally different. So another reason why I think he was, he did a very good job. And, uh, I don't know. Working at a movie theater, just... Some, sometimes it really... Emotions and pains really bear down on you. Because... And most jobs do this. If, especially in, like, customer service issues. But if... If people are having a hard time, it usually means that the managers, us, we're having a hard time, too. And so, our movie, our Batman movie has been sold out for a good, well, at least the, the night movies have been sold out for a good, um, two days. The next Sunday, or tomorrow, Sunday, is sold out the whole evening, and people are complaining. They're like, they call ahead. We get calls every, I swear, at least every 30 seconds, because once you'll get done with a call, another call will come in. And people are always asking us, they're like, so, uh, what's the next showing for the IMAX movie? And we're like, well, the only one that's open is at 1.40 a.m. And everyone's like, <laughs> no thanks, I'll, I'll choose another one. And I'm just like, well, it's been, you know, sold out for a couple days, you should have gotten here early, that's what I want to say to them. You know, you, you got you got to think smart, you got to think ahead, and... This one customer, oh my gosh. So they came all the way from Eugene, Oregon, which is about two and a half hours away. And they were complaining. They are like, so we got this these tickets on Fandango, and we saw that your, your theater is an IMAX, yet it's the 310 showing in Theater 18 or something. And our IMAX is in Theater 11. So I'm like, I, I, I'm sorry, guys, this... Uh, our IMAX showing isn't until, I think it was 4.40 at that time, and it's in a different theater. He's like, well, can we get t tickets for that? And it's like, it, it's been sold out for two days. And he's like, oh, we drove so long, we had to pay $50 for gas. I was like, I, there's nothing I can do. When the show is sold out, it's sold out. They were seriously talking to me for a good 10, 15 minutes trying to figure out what to do. And I was like, well, I can give you readmission tickets. I can give you your money back, but I, I can't get you into an, another sold out show. You can go to the 140 show in the morning that's open, but <laughs> they didn't want to do that. I don't really know what happened to them because I had to help some more customers. They had to talk to someone else, but um, yeah, customers you just don't understand. I mean, they want to try to get every little thing possible, and especially because I'm a very young manager. And a lot of people think either I don't work there, they want the real manager, and I'm just like, 
Sorry, all the other managers here are just like me. They're going to tell you what I'm telling you right now. And it's just frustrating that so many don't even care. And and then... Oh, i got to tell you guys later, but uh, that's a good example. That's a good example. Hmm. Oh, let's say, for instance... A, soul, a show is sold out, and people come up to us saying, we can't find seats, can we get tickets to another show? Of course we give them, you know, another tickets to another show, or we have mission tickets. But in, like, they're saying, oh, it's too full. Well, it's gonna be too full. I mean, seriously? It's... You're gonna have to cram... You're gonna have to sit next to a person you don't know, you're gonna have to listen to all their commentaries. Th that's why I used to hate going to movie theaters, because you're next to people you don't know, and you <laughs> you have smelly feet behind you, people laughing and talking, you can't hear the movie in front of you. I mean, the only time I do go is, like, during the middle of the day, when everyone's at work, and you don't have anybody messing around, like little kids running around the theaters, and it's just hectic on the weekends. I, I would never ever think to go to a, a very, like a, a movie that just came out over the weekend, that weekend. I would never see it that weekend, ever, in my life. Unless it was, for instance, Star Wars. I would have to do that. But, that's not the case. Batman, to me, isn't that big of a movie, because I was never really into Batman. I mean, a lot of people think it's cool how... Oh, he's just human. He's like us. He, we could do this. We could be buff and, you know, do 50 push-ups and, uh, you know, fight crime some other times in the future. But I'm more of a superpower person. I definitely like the show Heroes. And, um, I don't know, I, I like the not what I can achieve, even though sometimes I do, but it's like what I imagine but I could never achieve, is what I like. So, I don't know. I just think it's craziness that so many people like to stand in line for a movie that, although it's very good, would want to come on the first weekend of it showing and expect there to be seats and it to not be a sold-out show and, I don't know, not be crazy. We've had lines like, our IMAX lines start right after the... Uh, the, the IMAX before it starts. Like, we had a 7 o'clock showing, and then right after they went into their theater, the 10.20 showings started coming up. So, at 7 o'clock, there were people in line for the 10.20. And I was just like, are you kidding me? I mean, the first day it came out, there were people sitting in line since the be in the morning. So, I don't know. <sighs> but uh, I guess it's getting a little long, and I'm just blabbering on. I'm just really tired. I got back from work, and I guess I should take a nap. But, uh, just wanted to voice my opinion on the new Batman movie. There might be spoilers ahead. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.